right. Well, we are back. We're here with our first guest, food blogger Brandon Matzik. Brandon, thank you for doing the show. It's very thank nice to see you. Thank you for having me. Yeah. yeah. So, Brandon, I know you have you started your own uh, website and blog called uh, KitchenConfidence.com. Uh, what is a food blogger exactly? What, what is that? Sure. So, so basically, I, I'm a recipe blogger. So since 2010, I've been posting recipes to my site that help home cooks become more confident in the kitchen. Okay. Cool. Yeah. All right. How did you get started in that? How did you get started in food blog? Uh, you know, I, I um, have an Italian family, and I okay. grew up around a lot of um, great Italian cooks. And so I've just, I've always been food obsessed. And so um, back in 2010, I also started taking food photos. And I decided to just kind of marry the two loves. Into... You mean like for Instagram, you take a picture and then you post it? Like you can't, you got to post your food, right? Yeah, pretty yeah. much. There's no eating allowed until that photo gets captured. Is that... <laughs> that's a, that's if, a rule. It, if someone ever like takes a bite of it, do you still like, are you like, no, I still have to take a picture? <laughs> I usually just like slap their hand oh, and okay. put their, the food down. So, I got you. You know. So, so yeah, wh what's more important a good picture or a good tasting that's meal? That's a good question, yeah. That's a, that's a really tough question. I'd have to say a good tasting meal. Really? Um, okay. Yeah, it really comes down to the flavor. Uh, there's some things that don't look too good, but they, they taste really good. And that, so if it looks like matters. crap, you just don't take a picture of that one, you just eat it. Yeah, I just, you, just, you know. I got you. Well, this food looks it. really good. This, this looks a, lo a lot yeah. better than what Keith and I just had in that yeah. last segment. <laughs> I still have a little kernel of cocaine stuck in my teeth. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> It looks like he brought a whole bowl of it here for you, so that's yeah. good. <laughs> um, you can go to town. <laughs> yeah, so what have you got for us here today? Okay, so in May, we've got National Craft Beer Week um, just happening all over the country. Very nice. And so I thought today what we can do is I can show you um, one recipe that you can make with craft beer. Okay. And then um, something to pair with, you know, a craft beer party if you're looking nice. to celebrate. Um, so today what we're going to do is we're gonna make some beer bread. Okay, Ooh. so you think homemade bread, that, that sounds really difficult, but this is actually super easy. I'm gonna show you how to put the dough together, okay. and then we'll, we'll get into uh, some other fun recipes. Okay. So in this bowl, I have uh, flour, yeast, and salt. That's it, so three dry ingredients. Okay. Oh, so there's no cocaine in that no, at no. all? There's no cocaine. <laughs> Good to know. It's a different kind of bread. <laughs> Um, to that, we're going to add some uh, beer, and uh, you know, whatever beer you use, that's going to influence the flavor of the bread. Uh, so I like um, Ballast Point. I think it's a okay. really, really great addition. So you're just a gonna... sculpin bread. Yeah, sculpin bread. There's uh, not a get... lot of beer in there. That's it... not. Did too you much drink beer. the rest of it before this segment? <laughs> and then that's that is mandatory. So while it... you're making this bread, you have to finish the beer. Uh... I'm gonna be a food blogger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this Speed. is my job. Yeah. So <laughs> it's difficult. So um, to that, we're gonna add some water. All right. You can see the, the beer is actually foaming up there. Okay. And then finally, just a little vinegar there. And uh, you see, it doesn't require any special equipment, just a fork and a bowl. Um, <clears throat> stir this up. It's going to come together. And it's going to taste like beer. It's going to taste like beer. So do we, do we um, just have to bake this for an hour and wait? We'll just stay right here and wait, right? Or you have one that's made already. This is the three-hour show, right? This is the three-hour <laughs> show. Right. Yeah, that's right. So, How much bread could I eat before I get a DUI? <laughs> About half a loaf. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we have just a, a little shaggy loaf there, and um, that's pretty much it. Let it sit for 18 hours. Um, 18 hours? 18 hours. Wow. But there's no kneading. You don't have to knead it and really have to oh, get your wow. hands dirty. Um, the next day, form into a loaf, bake it for about an hour, and you have this, which wow. I'm wow. like, I'm always surprised that I actually made that because it looks <laughs> like something you'd find at Bread and Sea or, you know, the yeah. artisan bakery. That's beautiful. Um, <clears throat> it tastes really good, too. So, yeah, we want to taste it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, once you got that going on, then you can make I, I have a series of toasts here. Um, so, basically, we've got lots of fresh ingredients. All the ingredients pictured here. Is that all beer toast as well? All beer toast. It's okay. beer bread toast three ways. This is a great show. <laughs> <laughs> I approve. E eating and drinking all in one. Right. So, and then you garnish it with all this weed. It's great. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So here we have some uh, marinated zucchini with feta. We have goat cheese, um, sweet peas, and mint. And then what we're going to make um, this evening is actually ricotta cheese, tomato, and basil. Ooh, um, nice. So that's a really, tomato and basil is just a classic combination, super good. 
Um, and are those real, or did you make those for a photo? Like, is that actually like paint, or is that real food right there? <laughs> that is real food. That's real food. Okay. Uh, there's no, you know, added food styling effects. You, you can eat that right now. <laughs> did, did you Instagram it yet? Not yet. Okay, okay. So, that, so hands off. Keith, yeah, you can yeah, take a picture off. of that and send that to your mother. I got you this for Mother's Day. I if you would have just called me back, I would have <laughs> yeah. got you that. But no. If you try, I will smack your hand. No. <laughs> Um, so here we have um, the bread. I've just sliced it up. I've toasted it in the oven. And then I took some garlic, rubbed it right on the bread. So if nice. you've never done that, I'd recommend giving it a try. It's the best garlic bread. All right. And then <clears throat> I spoon some um, ricotta cheese here on the bread. And do you guys want to help or do you want me to, you know, go yeah, to town here? Absolutely. Sure. All right. So. Um, you mean help eat it, right? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to just put some tomatoes on here. And then, uh, do you guys want to do a little uh, salt and pepper? Yes. Do you want me to put a zucchini on top of it? Or, <laughs> or uh, do you want us to push it real good? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Sprinkle that was some. quick. And that was really quick. Yeah. How, how, much, uh, how much should I put on? Just this a, is amazing. Sprinkle it on there, you know. Yeah, there you go. Right. Okay, we're going to put a little basil Very on nice. here. So, Brandon, where can people find you on the internet? I mean, you've got your uh, kitchenconfidence.com. Is that how they reach you or yeah, check out so, your photos? Yeah, so you can visit the blog, which is kitchenconfidence.com. And confidence is spelled with a K. Right. Um, so Luckily, there the dot .com is not. Yes. <laughs> that would be too many That would be, be awkward. Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> so you'll find the recipe for the beer bread. You'll find the recipe for all the toast there. Um, and lots of other recipes. You can also uh, find me on Instagram, at Brandiego. So that's like oh, Brandon and like San Diego. It's good. Um, all right, so we're all right. almost done here. And then you guys can eat. We got some pepper. All right. And then a little balsamic vinegar. Very fancy, this beer bread. There you go. And I'm going to give you guys. Now, we don't have to do an impression while we eat this, no, right? We, we can, can just eat, this? enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, you can just enjoy it. You just <laughs> smear it all over your face like Andy Dick again. <laughs> there you go. All right, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for our guest here, Brandon Matzik. <laughs>